Hello everyone and welcome to what is probably going to be my favorite vlog that we've ever vlogged. Yeah, it's the day. Today it's is the day, day that I have been waiting for. I don't even know how long. I mean, Your you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, first and foremost, we're going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter today, okay? And this is coming from a long time, lifelong Harry Potter stand, okay? So let me just give you my background really quick. I'm going today with my grandmother and my mom. Wait. Well. So yeah, let me, hold on. What? I'm Annika. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm Jenica. I'm Annika. And welcome to the vlog. Okay, so listen, my grandmother used to work at a college and so she always brought me like the best books. Whatever age I was, she knew what I needed to be reading. So when I was in third grade, she brought me four books and sat them in front, the biggest books I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, Grant, I mean, I know I'm smart, but like, what are you expecting to me? And she was like, listen, these are all the rage in Europe. They're making their way to America and you need to be in the know. And so I was like, okay, give me these books. So at this point I was like playing a lot of sports and so she got them for me on tape as well. So I did a combination of listening to them on tape and reading them. And even if I was like listening on tape, I was reading along. So I read all four books like that summer and then the next book came out and the next movie came out and the next book came out and the movie came out. That was when I was in third grade. They were like, you know, 10, 11, 12. And then my freshman year of college when I was 18, the very final Deathly Hallows part two came out. So I legitimately grew up with, them. with Harry Potter. Like they were my best friends. Ron, Harry, and Hermione were my best friends, are my best friends. It's just my life. So all of our animals are named Obviously. after <laughs> Harry Potter characters. And then when she was born, she was like, what is this thing my mom's obsessed with? She used to beg to watch Harry Potter as a child. And I was like, no, you do not get to watch these movies until you are at an age where you will sit down and watch a three hour movie and not be bored with it. So you're not, I'm not introducing you to Harry Potter and you immediately running so I waited until she was like the perfect age and we binged them all I mean for probably a year straight we didn't watch anything besides Harry Potter's that night yeah and Annika fully thought that she was Hermione Granger for a good year yeah yeah, yeah I'd say. so look at our outfits of the day okay I am wearing this this is from how long it's have I had so this iconic. I I've had this for like 10 12 years for real this is from black milk clothing and it's like a Harry Potter swimsuit so <laughs> onesie but I am wearing it today because it's just too cute not to it's the very first like movie cover so cute i have my warby parker glasses on i think these are the simon yeah these are simon and brush inked and my prescription is actually in these and what else oh i have this cute little harry potter ring on and then aj's outfit is just i can't, I can't even handle it so i have the weasley's flying car shirt on because weasley weasley her cat's um, weasley if you're yes. if you're stumbling if upon this vlog my i'm obsessed um i birthed this cat named weasley and he is mine i have my like floral biker shorts on a little Black bow. Little with Hermione the inspired. Hermione hair. And then, as my purse today, I am carrying Weasley's trunk. I got this to travel because he travels everywhere with me. I got this for him. I got his initials on it. So I am, I fully have a trunk. But today. it's funny because it's like Weasley Roger, Ron Weasley. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's literally the same. So this, I mean, I, I don't. We have to go. We have to go. We have to be better. <laughs> Okay, so next year I'm for sure, this is gonna be the star on the top of my tree next year. Look at this. this I know, Annika has wanted this dress I've for- I've literally for wanted this forever, like actually Since ever. you were eight. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting it. We've not even gotten to the Harry Potter stuff yet, but we just, the first store, we had to stop. Look at that little frog. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so we're that. first. We first came to Islands of Adventure. That's obviously where yes. Harry Potter is. Yes, we so. got the two park tickets. So Harry Potter World is in both parks. So we're in Islands of Adventure now. And we're taking the loop around. It's at kind of like the top of the loop. So we will get to circle around and see Jurassic Park and all kinds of things. I definitely want to see Jurassic Park. I want to ride some of the Jurassic Park rides too because she's the Jurassic Park girly. I mean, girly. I them so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was always like, she was like the kid that was into dinosaurs and sharks, not like princesses and tutus. <laughs> so we're having so much fun. It literally feels like it does. It has such a different vibe than Disney. It really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So fun. Whoa. I was not expecting this much serotonin off the bat. Look at the Grinch. Oh my god, I don't want to look to my left yet. I can't. I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, I'm going to show the camera, but I'm not looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> I need to just like take it in for a second. 
It's like better than what I imagined. I really honestly didn't think I was gonna cry. That was a little bit dramatic. This is where I need my picture like, because I have a trunk. Oh yes, so cute. Look, okay, so let me, let me, look at this. Like just seeing that right there, I don't even have words. I really don't. Honey dudes, we'll have to get a chocolate frog. Oh, the mail room is at lockers. Oh, and you can actually send mail there. We're gonna have to send a card to Weasley. Welcome to Ollivanders. Makers of fine wands since 382 BC. Okay, we just did the Ollivanders experience. So someone got chosen. I was hoping it would Your be me, but it was. So much cooler. Well, because my box is not a person. Person. Yeah, okay. So then we got to still choose our. We wanted interactive wands yes. so that we could go around and do the little swish and flicks. And we're going to show you our wands. Okay. I'll go first. Yes, so. Annika's gonna go first. Yeah. Oh yeah, we never showed you guys Mimi's and Grant's outfits. Look how cute. This is the sweater that I got from the New York Harry Potter store. How cute. And then look at this. I actually got this shirt when I got my swimsuit from the same black milk. It. How cute. It's the, hair, the newspaper from when Harry was the undesirable baby. Which was never. Okay, this is the one that I got. How gorgeous. We love her. It's beautiful. It's like pink and oh, so pretty. Okay, I already have a character one, but we wanted to get the interactive ones because you can go around and do spells. And I've always thought that I wanted to do this, like when I actually finally go to Ollivander's, get one that's not a character one, that's like a Jenica one. So are you ready to see how gorgeous it is? Look at this, look at this. Look how pretty. It's got this like gold. It tapers down here. How fun. Okay, it is so a laurel and phoenix feather. Laurel wood and phoenix feather core. This one is perhaps the pickiest of all wand combinations. A hard working master with remarkable range of magic for many years, which is this girl. And then also comes with a bag. So this is the Diagon Alley, which is not where we are, but this is all the spots you can go and use. Thank you so much Case 5 for sponsoring this video. Guys, I am here today to tell you about my top three favorite Case 5 cases, okay? First off, we have this beautiful orange and pink. I took this case to Nationals. First of all, I got so many compliments on it, obviously. Second of all, the mirror pictures in this, unbeatable. Second case, personalized. Again, just the pinks and the neons going together recently have really been getting me. I just love this one. I also did this one a bunch of year and cheer because I, I tend to switch my phone case like every week because case Five has so many different options, but I tend to put this one on a lot during cheer practices because if I said, hey, can you hear me my phone? Whoever I was asking knew this one was mine because I had my name on it. So I did always love having this one on during practices, but I got to tell you, lately I've been going back to the good old clear. Case Five is already the world's most popular tech accessory company known for their protective phone cases and their collaborations but not only are they the world's most popular tech accessory brand the clear case is the most requested case ever and that's saying a lot for how many cases they have it's crystal clear and durable and it has built-in uv defender technology to prevent yellowing we all hate when our clear cases go yellow this has technology to prevent that as you can see it is magsafe compatible and is carefully constructed made up of 65 percent plant-based and recycled materials and they do it every time exceeding military grade drop standards with up to 6.6 .6 feet drop tested like i said i love having all different kinds of case by cases to fit my mood but really these are just my favorite and everyone's and I love those cases when I have these on my phone. All these cases, including the clear case, are available at casefile.com. And if you go to casefile.com slash Jenica, you get 15% off your order today. Again, that's casefile.com slash Jenica to get 15% off any of these cute cases. Thank you so much, Case Five, for sponsoring this video. Y'all, this is a dream. This is crazy. Oh my god! We're in the castle. We are in the castle, you guys. Oh my god. 
Hogwarts Express just freaking pulled up, you guys. We're on the Hogwarts Express. in Islands of Adventure and this is just universal baby. This is so freaking cool. I just knocked and Creature came out up there. Look how fun, King's Cross. Okay, we just got to Diane Alley. Oh, when I see the Weasleys, I'm gonna freak out. Stop. Look. Where's Nocturne Alley? Immediately I need Nocturne Alley. Where? The Leaky Coffee. Oh. You almost got got. You almost got got. I don't know. Where do you want to go? That's the dragon. Oh, that's the dragon. Oh, that's fitting out that way too. Okay, what, what do we do? Where do we go? What do we do? We're going to get some of our money exchanged into Harry Potter money. He's already screamed at me once. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's Weasley's. Oh, I'm gonna cry. How cute, Weasley's. Y'all, this looks just like the thing. Oh my God.
given us haul from Weasley's Wizarding Weezes. Oh, how cute. How cute. So cute, so cute. And then I got a love potion. Oh, my one one. My one one. Wait, show us the snack box. It's not a snack box. Oh, either. excuse me. It's not. It's a conniving snack, snack box. box. Excuse me. It's Weasley's Weezes. We're definitely in Morgan and Barks now. This, you can feel the bird in there. It like shakes. It's crazy. Who recognizes this? This is also the trunk that they kept. My oh, it's shaking. It's so spooky in here. It's so spooky. This right here is what dreams are made of. I'm gonna have a hard time going home. Like Already wizarding news coming out of this, and then they report on two flying pigs. You guys, look, Mimi's shirt is the same thing. Actually want these for my house. <laughs> I really can't get over Weasley's. It looks so good. Look, school robes available here. Woo! Okay, wait. I don't know how to dial this thing. You go, but there's no letters. But it's magic, so that's M. This? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ministry of Magic is six, is that right? two, four. Look, you guys. Two, two. Wait, you gotta have it open when you're dialing. I don't know these Girl, things. Girl, I don't, I don't act like you used a rubbery phone before. I've never. <laughs> oh, it's ringing. It was like, the visitor store's closed. Have blessed day. Blessed. <laughs> Fun time. Fun time. People are going through. People, it goes through. Oh my God, it's gonna disappear. I like to imagine this is exactly what it feels like to get off the Hogwarts Express and grab your luggage and head to freaking Hogwarts, baby. Hogsmeade is really fun. I honestly thought that I was gonna like Diagon Alley like way, way more than Hogsmeade, but I think I'm kind of loving Hogsmeade a little bit more. So we came back. <laughs> The Velociraptor ride. What was Velociraptor. it called? Velociraptor. Was it the Velociraptor? No, it's. Yes, it was. Oh, okay. It was. We got off. It was both beyond. Legs, hair back. I screamed the whole beyond. time. Beyond. I it have has, never, I've never been on anything like that. I have never. Upside down. I mean, and it also broke down as soon as we were like the next person in the line. Twice. Twice. But it was fine. We did have to wait like total probably almost an hour. But it was so. It worth was really it. worth it. You literally went upside down on the water. Yeah. What? That one was crazy. What? That one was really, really crazy. It freaks me out when it's all the stuff coming at my face. So I liked that this one was just like a fast speed. I mean, we round. had to hit a hundred that one time. <laughs> we it had was to crazy. Hit that one time. I mean, it was crazy. Good, crazy, good. Universal is giving me like Vegas vibes. And I guess that like the Universal sign. Oh, cute. There's like the Universal Earth globe. 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 Okay, we're back home. And AJ is opening my this conniving snack box. Okay, come on, let's see what's in it. It's a surprise. There was like ingredient. Was it what was listed on the back? Just like couldn't tell you. Yeah, I didn't take too much of a look besides the box, and I got it. Oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, ignore the Panda Express. Y'all know how Anakin gets when she travels. <gasps> okay, fine. What are those? I'm sure we'll get a, a paper once we dive more inside the box. Cute. Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh. Fun. Oh, it's so cute. Where all is it, Annika? 
I don't know. Okay, let's look at the back. Let's see. So we got fainting fancies. Fainting fancies. Fever fudge. Nosebleed nougat. And puking. Ew. Pasteles. Where, where's puking? Puking. I'm going to say these are probably puking glass. Like, I bet it goes back. Yeah. But these look, Those honestly, so look cool. really good. Oh, these look so good. Oh, that's the fudge. Wait, what was it? Oh my god, wait, no, that's... Yeah, that's for sure the fudge. That's for sure the puking fudge. Oh, these look so like. good. Like, these actually look so good. That's really good. I'm so interested good. by these, though. These look like a Weasley candy. Oh, that is so fun. And these. These look like the Weasley candy. Are you ready to do this? No. Hello. Well, we are obviously back home, but we <laughs> wanted to seal this little video with a kiss at the end and just... Oh, that's cute. Oh, that was very cute. Very cute. Try some of these snacks that we got and talk about if you're going to... Because this was our first time at Universal and I really feel like we maximized it. I did a lot of that's research really before cool. I went to see if we could do everything in one day and I feel like we genuinely were yes. able to do everything that we wanted to. We could have been there for longer and honestly, I really genuinely that I was going to be able to go there and that be my one time ever and like she's playing we hash trip back she's playing <laughs> we have to go back so okay what do we want do we want to start with this or do we want to end with this I want to show them my other one okay yeah okay. go ahead go ahead go ahead okay so this is y'all saw the ones that we got yes like we said we did have our wines from the New York Harry Potter store Harry Potter store that's how I was like not world but yeah it's called like the official Harry Potter store and it's in New York City so I just had to show you my other one give it an honorable mention mm -hmm. did you remember about this So I got, let me just show it to you guys. So cute. I, of course, got Ron Weasley's. It's pretty iconic. Mm -hmm. Like, this also feels like the end of Harry's. Yeah, it does. It does. It this is Ron's. very You can Ron. tell from when it was broken in half at that. Yeah. Like okay. And then this is the one that I got at Harry Potter World. Or no, no, sorry. This is the one that I got at the Harry Potter store in New York. It is Jenny's, I believe. Yes, I got Jenny Weasley's, and it's beautiful. I also have my name in it as well, and it's just the quality is so good. Like these aren't interactive or anything. This is just literally like a wand. A wand. They're just they feel so cool. They feel crazy. Okay. You can do that in Harry Potter World as well. Like you can get um, like character ones, but. I got a character one. Oh yeah, you got a character one. Let me tell you, well I did tell you. All the ones there though are interactive ones. All yes, of them. every single one. None of them are just regular ones. We have, we'll do a haul. Birdie Bots, Every Flavor Beans, Chocolate Frogs, and then of course, the Wizards, or the Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. And then I also wanted to show my little scarf that I got. I have wanted this scarf since I was in third grade. I mean, I really love this scarf so freaking much. And then I got, I had to do it, a head girl. It's so really cute. gorgeous. I literally, what was I trying to wear it with the other night? I tried to put it on with like, no, literally just her outfit to go out and I was like, you cannot wear that. Out. I was like, but it just looks so cute. It looks so cute. Okay, let's start with these. Okay, okay. So these are Birdie Bots, every flavor baby. I'm gonna be. Okay, well. Are we gonna talk about what we thought about it? Yes. As we're, okay, perfect. Okay. I think that first and foremost. Now, can I, can I yes. first and foremost? First and foremost, Velocicoaster. Oh my God. It's not Harry Potter, but if you go to Harry Potter, it's the next thing down. It's you got to do it. it. Yeah. You have to have to do it. It's the best roller coaster I've ever been on in my entire life. It was so, really fun. It was really, really had fun. Had to get that one out of the Worth way. the wait. It's definitely like a roller coaster. It, it's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. It's crazy. Okay. Oh, you, there's actually things? Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. No, I don't think that we just pick one and then whatever the one, you, then we can look at what it was after. Pick <laughs> one, pick one. Oh, <laughs> nothing green is gonna be good. Nothing green is gonna be good. Okay, cheers. I guess you have so that we can still look at what what's going on with it. On the picture. Oh, mine's good. I got banana. Mine tastes like nothing. nothing. I think yours is grass. I think it's got a little grassy taste. It's too grass. <laughs> it doesn't taste like <laughs> dirt grass though. It tastes like Kale. fresh, like fresh mowed spring grass. <laughs> is that even though my mom and my grand didn't necessarily want to go on the rides with us, they were able to walk through the line and then there's a family waiting area because half, 
the lines of your in lines were so long that they know that that's the majority of the fun part because it, you get to go through the castle or go through Hagrid's yeah. and you're getting to see all this stuff and it would be unfortunate if the people that you're with didn't get to experience that as well so I'm so glad that they were able yeah. to go through with us or if you've got like baby strollers and babies or if there's like grandparents like whatever session. yes there was lots of grandparents and babies <laughs> sitting in the waiting rooms which is absolutely perfect then we didn't did, we didn't realize yeah okay Popcorn. This one's cheer, like red chili. What is that one? Uh, earwax? This is cinnamon. That was earwax. That was for sure earwax. Ew! What does it taste like? Ew, ew, ew. I need to move on. Okay, let's do chocolate fondue. Also, wonder what card we're gonna get! That's another plus. But we obviously got that this one there, but we did have a, a little era of our life where we went to Five Below. And um, the, the they, five below ones aren't intense. But they're not, like, but they have the cards, and like if you have a five below near you, it's it huge. Oh my god, the frog is huge. It's Are you gonna... huge. Rowena Ravenclaw. Rowena Ravenclaw. Oh, oh my god. How many do we have? Oh my god, how many of it? How many of it? Okay. Hello. Miss Ravenclaw. <gasps> Miss Hufflepuff. Sal's also there. Gryffindor and Dumbledore. So we got all the houses and, and Dumbledore. That is. That is a great set. Honestly. That's a great set. Wow. Wait, okay, so awesome. I guess the ones with tens come with freaking five. That was awesome. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, well, let's try the chocolate frog and hope it doesn't jump away. Um, okay. It's just chocolate. It's nice. It's just like an Easter bunny, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like that chocolate. Remember when I used to get those like six feet tall Easter bunnies? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. He did the three broomsticks. <gasps> It was crazy. The vibes in there were just it so. Was... Hogsmeade just felt like home. Mm -hmm. Like it just really yeah. felt so. Not like an. Okay. No. I know that I was yeah. in my five year old era when I was there, but. But it wasn't. It was kind of home for Harry. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because that so, was Hogwarts. But so. I feel like Diagon Alley was definitely more like hustle bustle. Mm -hmm. It just they both felt like what they're supposed to. What be. they're both supposed to feel like, which was really really cool. Okay. This is what I got at the Weasley store because I had to get everything that they sold. So I saw this and I was like, well, that's just all in one and I need to grab it. So it's the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes all in one box. This little string says Weasley Wizard Wheezes all over it. It's so cute. This has been the decoration on my entryway table for the past <laughs> since we got back. She also oh. got Love Potion from there, but she already drank that. It was Disney disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> yeah. But it was so bad. But I think we, we came to the conclusion that we think that it was supposed to taste like a potion. Like a potion, you know? All right. So it opens up all magically. We also got money exchanged into like Ringo's Wizarding money. World yeah. Ringo's money, and we never even used it. We kept it as we kept it as keepsakes. Okay, fainting fancies. What do we think those are? These? I'm sure you can get cool what fainting fancies look like. Okay, let's try to do that. that. Okay, while she's doing that, we started at Hogsmeade because I really thought that I wanted to start at Diagon Alley, like because that's where Harry's first like entrance with the Wizarding World was, and then go up to King's Cross and then Hogsmeade from there. But I wanted to do the interactive ones first, and so we could have that the whole time. There's an Ollivander at both places, but the one in Hogsmeade is the one where the guy like gets to come down and chooses okay. somebody to go on. So we wanted to do that first. That's why we went to Hogsmeade first. But we ended up, like I said, having time to go do all the Hogsmeade stuff we wanted to do. Go to Diagon Alley, come back to Hogsmeade. I'm so glad we watched the final like show, show. the fire, like the Hogwarts show at night because it was just like I was standing there like it was so cool. These are the fancy fancies. Okay, fancy fancies. Fainting fancies are a type of sweet sold by Fred and George Weasley in their conniving snack box in order to get students out of lessons. Shut up! That is so cute! Oh my god, I love it. Mm. Is it peach or citrus or? Mm. Mm. Wait, that's really. Wait, I'm just like. <laughs> okay. That is really good. It's very light. Love that. I could I could shut out on this thing. Love that. It doesn't have any sort of like I guess it's more peach than. Um, citrus. it says what it was, but I can't I remember. Oh, lemon and orange. Ew. I'm gonna assume that this one's the paper fudge. Oh yeah, maybe. Sure, right? Oh, maybe that's nosebleed nougat. No, this is. Uh, yeah, this is for sure fudge. Fever fudge was designed to make the one who ate it get a high fever within seconds of eating it, but the side effects were large pus-filled boils, which appeared at places that the twins did not genuinely display to the public. Okay, so, so that looks like little pusses, probably. I mean, is that what? No, it is. It's this. It's this. I'm kind of nervous. 
I'm gonna take it? a itsy bitsy bite. Okay, I think it's got good ingredients. It says like vanilla fudge, so. Still, I'm a texture person, and fudge does not fall under my texture category. Okay. <sighs> Just looks gross. I don't think it does. It, oh, don't love that. <laughs> Can we show them? Ugh, I can't. No, go, no, go. I can't. I can't. No, go here. Look over right this. It looks like it's got like little jelly beans or something. If it's jelly beans, I'm not gonna like that. I think it is. I wish it was M Ms. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Should we go get some M Ms fudge after this? I just take that bite. The combination of the jelly bean and the fudge is not good. Whoa! I have four cavities actually. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is major sweet. The that fudge is not bad, but the, the combination of the two. It's, honestly, the texture for a packaged fudge is not terrible. Yeah, no, the fudge is really good. The fudge went down like butter. <laughs> but the jelly the jelly bean is still in my mouth. <laughs> like I chewed swallow. You yes. know, like when Luna, we feed her some foods and she does not like peas and some of her little canned foods will have peas in it. And her whole bowl will be thick and fan clean with like 18 peas. And that's how I feel like my mouth is just like, everything else is gone besides jelly beans are still there. That's disgusting. Okay, last, what, what's the next? The nosebleed nougat. So the oh. nosebleed nougat, also known as a blood blister pod, designed to make eaters nosebleed heavily within seconds of eating. Yours says that on its own. Yeah. You don't need a nougat for that. I don't know if I can do that there. It's a good flavor. It's a good flavor. I can't. Your nose actually starts bleeding because <laughs> you're pushing so hard. I for real see something. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Right, okay, okay. It does taste good. Yeah, it tastes good. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Do you put like a ring pop situation on it? <laughs> it does taste very good. That's not okay. for the wheezies. Lastly, we have puking pastelies. Have a magical sweet made by blah, 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 blah. Puking pastelies made the eater vomit within seconds. <laughs> I don't need any help with that either. Y'all know that I throw up every freaking pop. But these don't look like those. Okay. Did we just eat something orange or about the drink? No, they're orange. That's not this. <laughs> at all. What is this? Which one say chocolate and marshmallow or pistachios? If this is the nosebleed nougat. We thought so. No, yeah, yeah. This says pistachios. This is the nosebleed nougat for sure. Harry Potter fan. Oh, uh uh. Oh, it's a totally different color. <laughs> yeah. So what the heck was that? I don't know. We don't know what this is. And this song's not adding up, Harry so Potter fandom. Uh -uh. I Actually, know. I think it's that and not them. Because that could differ. If we're being completely honest. But this one's this one on the ingredients, quite literally for an under nosebleed nougat, says <laughs> pistachios. I don't know. I'm just following the And then quite literally pistachios. Okay, okay, let's just take a bite. The puking ones are definitely sugar, oh, water, or corn syrup, and flavor. So the puking ones are the other that you discuss. We're right. And then this is nosebleed nougat. What did we say nosebleed nougat was? I gotta we gotta <laughs> move on. We gotta move on. Cheers. Marshmallow. Oh. That was nice to end on. That's nice. That was mm. nice to end on. Nothing good. Okay. 17 seconds so, though. What you need to know is you definitely need the two park tickets. Yes. I don't know what that means other than that. But you can go back and forth between Islands of Adventure, which is where Hogsmeade is, and then everything else is just at Universal. Yeah. So you need the two park ticket. And you ride the train. You and you ride it. the train between the two parks. So we also do definitely, definitely recommend the fast pass for mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. Um, everything except for like Hagrid's, but. No, we used to own Hagrid's. Did we? Yeah. No, ride Hagrid's. No. no, we didn't. No, I was thinking. Um, ride Hagrid's. We, we were able to ride the Hogwarts ride multiple times because there, we could just zoom in the line like in five seconds. Mm -hmm. Definitely a must. Ride all the rides. All of them. All of them. All Gringotts of them. was so fun. Oh my god, Gringotts is so, so fun. So fun. It definitely just just literally act like you oh, are kid. just found out that you Hagrid knocked on your door and said you're a Wizard Harry. And you're going. And you go. So, and it was so fun and we can't wait to go back. And thank you for joining us. It was so fun. We will see you in the next one. Bye.